In this demo I'll show you how we can capture packets uh, by turning your wireless LAN interface on the laptop into a monitor mode uh, and then we'll use TCP dump to capture packets that are sent by uh, devices nearby, other laptops, other access points and then load those captured packets into Wireshark and have a look at some of those packets. Normally your wireless interface runs in a manage mode on the laptop where it allows it to connect to different access points but that means it only uh, captures the packets that either you send or are sent directly to your laptop. What I'd like to do is run it into a monitor mode where it can capture packets sent by others to others for example someone else's laptop to an access point and uh, then observe what's happening on the wireless LAN. Of course in monitor mode it stops your laptop from transmitting and receiving. Not all uh, wireless LAN devices support monitor mode. Uh, it depends upon the, the hardware and only some drivers uh, allow uh, enabling monitor mode. Uh, it turns out that my uh, Intel wireless interface supports monitor mode on the laptop. One way to see the, the manufacturer of the device and the driver used is to look at the different uh, to use LSPCI to list the, the different PCI interfaces which should include your wireless LAN interface. So I'll use LSPCI and in the verbose mode um, you can look at the output of that. Since I know what I'm searching for I'll use grep to just to display a selection of the output which is related to my wireless LAN interface. That is show, show the lines after the network um, which should be by my wireless LAN. My wireless LAN network controller is the Intel Centrino wireless N1000 um, and perhaps the most useful line there is at the bottom the kernel modules and the, the kernel driver in use is the IWL AGN and it turns out that this driver from Intel does support the monitor mode. As an aside if you want to look at more info about that driver you can use mod info with the driver name and it shows you a lot of information about that driver, where the driver is on, the, on your file system, um, uh, the, the name of the driver um, and down the bottom if we scroll through all the aliases some of the uh, parameters that are supported and their default values for that driver. So my wireless hardware and driver supports monitor mode so let's uh, enable it. First I'll turn off the network manager that manages the, the wired and wireless interface by disabling networking so that we can do everything on the command line and w without the network manager interfering. So now I'll turn down my interface first. Let's show the interfaces that are supported. No interfaces are up. The all interfaces that are supported include ETH0 and WLAN0 and WLAN0 is obviously the, the wireless LAN interface. It's currently down. If it wasn't already down, we could have used ifconfig to turn that interface down. Now, we want to turn it, turn the interface so it's in monitor mode. So we use iwconfig to do that using the mode monitor options and now simply check that our wireless LAN 0 interface is in monitor mode. So now we cannot send or receive any packets via our wireless LAN interface but all the packets that others send and that my laptop is within range of uh, will be um, detected and, and processed when told to be by uh, the wireless LAN interface. Now I'll turn the interface up.
and now we, since the interface is up or it's enabled and it's in monitor mode, we want to capture some packets. So I clear the screen and I'll use TCP dump to capture the packets. I've got Wireshark installed on this laptop already. In Wireshark you can uh, directly cap capture packets, but I'll use TCP dump on the command line. I need to specify the interface I want to capture packets on. WLAN 0 with a minus I op option. I'm go going to also specify the size of packets, the maximum size of packets that I will capture. By default, uh, TCP dump will only capture the first, uh, I think it's the first 64 bytes of the packet. It may be quite a little bit larger, but it won't capture the entire packet. By capturing 1,500 bytes, we should capture uh, all of the, the packet and save or write into a file. Let's call it example.cap. So now my wireless LAN interface is, is capturing all packets that it can uh, receive uh, that are transmitted by other stations in the, in the nearby area. Of course you need some other stations around to capture anything of, of use. It turns out in my network I do. I'll leave it running for a, a minute or so. The reason I use TCP dump to capture rather than using Wireshark is because to capture you need to have administrator privileges. So for example run a sudo. So the option is to either run TCP dump as sudo or run Wireshark the entire program as sudo. So to, if you run Wireshark as sudo then, um, then all those other features of Wireshark are running in administrator mode or at, at a higher privilege level. So potentially there's some security benefits of just running TCP dump as sudo and once the capture is done then you can load the capture in Wireshark and use all the other features uh, of Wireshark, the filters, the statistics and so on, which don't need administrator mode. Let's hope we've captured enough of control C to cancel to finish. 1436 packets were captured. So now let's load that those captured packets into Wireshark. I'll start Wireshark. We could start it by calling the file but I won't because I want to set some options. And I'll open the file. Example.cap I'm going to disable the two options of the name resolution for the MAC and the network, uh, the transport name resolution. When they are enabled, that means that Wireshark will do some mapping from the real MAC address to some uh, user-friendly, for example, identify the manufacturer. And same with the transport name, it will map port numbers to well-known uh, port number applications like port 80 to HTTP. I want to show the, the actual values rather than the human friendly values just for this example let's open that and we see a list of uh, we can see the list of packets um, we can go and inspect those packets uh, one by one so at the top half of the screen we see the list of packets packet one two three and so on with the time uh, that the packet was captured relative to the first packet that was captured, packet 1, the source and destination addresses, the protocol being used, the packet length and some summary information about the characteristics of that packet. And in the, the second half of the screen we see the details of an individual packet. where We can expand and see packet header fields. The intention here is not to go through the features, all the features of Wireshark, but just to show that the wireless LAN packets were captured. Of course you can apply different filters. Uh, if you use the expression uh, button you can go through and see all the different filters available. Some of them that may be of use may be to filter based on the wireless LAN frame type. 
So there's a filter WLAN FC type, and there are three types of frames in uh, uh, IEEE 802.11. There's uh, management frames, which are type 0, control frames, uh, type 1, and data frames, type 2. Let's first look at the management frames and in fact there are subtypes as well. So the management frames include uh, the frames sent for discovering the access point for associating and authenticating with the access point. So there are different frame types. So let's add another uh, condition here. The subtype and you need to look up which ones, which numbers correspond to which types of frames. Uh, Subtype 8 is the beacon frames. So the beacon frames are sent periodically by different access points. So in the set of several frames shown in the screen here, we can see one that's sent by an access point with MAC address ending with 83. And when we expand the packet fields, we can see a number of parameter values. One of them is the extended server set ID that that access point is advertising for, in this case WSIT, and other parameters such as the supported data rates and so on. You can explore through the different uh, fields that are available there. And we see packet number 14 there is a different access point, but from the same extended server set. That is, there are two access points near my laptop or within range of my uh, laptop within the WSIT ESS uh, and if I look through there may be even other access points nearby. Other frame types or subtypes there's probe requests and probe responses which are frame subtypes 4 and 5 So we can see there some of the, the probe requests, which is the, a mobile device or a client initiate, initiating the discovery of an access point. And then when an access point receives a probe request, it may send a probe response which informs the client of that access point. So we can see uh, a single request, uh, a single response and some requests captured there. Note that they are uh, a different SSID uh, here, this THDT access point. Now, what about data frames? The data frames are of frame type 2, uh, control frames, which include acknowledgement frame type 1. So let's show both of them. And now you can see the wireless LAN uh, data frames have been sent by other stations nearby my laptop. Uh, uh, they correspond to different protocols in, uh, in work or different application or transport layer protocols uh, that, that depending on what the clients are running. For example, different name services, address resolution. And if you scroll through, you may be able to find even uh, um, uh, common applications like web requests and so on. Here we see two data frames and some acknowledgement frames that have been captured. So you can look at the individual wireless frames which have been sent uh, nearby your laptop. That's enough with Wireshark. Let's close that. And to finish off, let's turn our interface back into manage mode so that you can use your wireless wireless LAN interface for the normal operations again. So I'll turn down the interface and now simply set the mode for that interface to be managed using IWconfig. Turn the interface up again if I can hit right the right keys on the keyboard 
and for example we can tell the wireless LAN to connect with an access point on a particular ESS ID. And when are associated back with a, an access point. And we could use DH client to obtain an IP address or simpler enable networking again and let the network manager within the operating system do that automatically for us. So that's a, a quick demo of using IW config to turn your wireless LAN interface into monitor mode to capture packets sent by others, using TCP dump to perform the capture and to Wireshark to look at those uh, packets that are captured.